In a previous phone line simulator experiment, I had two phones operating together and they were able to generate DTMF touch tones across the simulated phone line. And now to expand on that, I want to make a DTMF decoder PCB sponsored by PCBWay. The previous project uses a floating 13 or so volt DC supply so the phones can operate together. And now I want to add an audio interface across the tip and ring so it can be used to send audio into the phone line or listen to audio on the phone line, including listening to the DTMF touch tones and decoding them for an Arduino. To connect an audio circuit to the phone line, I'm using a 1 to 1 600 ohm transformer which allows impedance matching with the phone line so it can help minimize the chances of a circuit loading down the phone line or causing some other disturbance. And it also provides isolation so the power and ground on my side doesn't directly interface with the phone line. And since we're only interested in looking at the audio present on the phone line, there's a series DC blocking capacitor, so only audio or an AC higher voltage ring signal would be able to pass through this. I don't really want to have the ring signal on here, even though I can do voltage clamping. I would just like to keep this only attached to the phone line when needed for audio, so that would be only after a phone has been picked up, so there's no chance of ringing voltages and it's just going to be low voltage audio. Then I can listen in and see what buttons are being pressed on the phone, or I can just add or extract audio from the phone at this time. So if I add this circuit into a larger system, I would have relays switching these terminals into the phone line when a phone goes off hook. Regarding the audio signals passing through, I have Zener diodes here to help clamp any other voltage spikes that may arrive so that this audio stays within our 5 volt operating circuit here. And the main functionality of this circuit is the MT8870 DTMF decoder, which provides 4-bit data and a data available signal so an Arduino can detect when a key has been pressed and decode which phone key it was. So in a future project, what this means is an Arduino can interpret when somebody picks up a phone and dials a number, and if it's the correct number, another part of the system can then cause a target phone associated with that theoretical phone number to ring, and when somebody picks up that phone, the two phones can be connected together, completing a call. The 8870 only requires a few external components. It does all of the decoding on chip, looking for tones of valid frequencies to represent DTMF signals, and the 4Q outputs will have various combinations representing what keys are pressed on the phone. So an Arduino just has to wait for data to be valid and then just look at these inputs and decide what was pressed. So all we need is a few resistors and capacitors and a crystal, and that's basically how I have it configured here. On the Arduino, we use this delayed steering output to tell when there's a valid DTMF tone pair and it's time to read those Q inputs. And the sketch is very simple. We create those inputs and in the main loop we're just continually polling this delayed steering signal and when it goes high we look at the Q inputs and based on what they are we know which DTMF button was pressed. So that works well, and now I can put this principle to work on a bigger phone line project. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this project.